Hello, and welcome to Pi, Projects, Ideas, and Experiments. Well, this is technically an update to uh, a previous video. Um, the Amazon Basics uh, box spring. Well, it turns out that the it didn't fit the, the frame we had. So I had to, of course, go and Oh, vehicle. Anyway, I had to go and uh, buy another frame. Uh, luckily, it's twin size, so it's not you know too massive or anything. Um, honestly, don't even really know this brand. Uh, you know, again, direct chip from uh, all that. So anyway. It's a, a 14 inch, 14 inch tall, uh, twin size bed frame. Looks like it has some decent support style. <sighs> the, the frame we did have was actually a given to us by a family member uh, who had gotten it from their spouse's family. Uh, there was a whole deal there. And uh, so we're going to be returning because it's, I guess technically an antique heirloom, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they want it back. So it's not going to be, you know, trashed or anything like that. Um, but needed a bed frame that would support the new box spring. So I'm going to attempt again to put this together. No, not attempt again. Technically it's the first time I'm doing this, but you know, I put the box spring together. Uh, this is actually filmed not too long after the other one, but depending on how I schedule it out, we'll determine when you see this. Uh, I guess we'll just uh, get to it. And uh, again, I didn't really intend for this channel to be reviews and <laughs> unboxings, but that's just kind of how it's turning out right now to at least get me to record and Get some stuff out there. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. Again, box cutter, which is the open end. I almost opened that upside down. That second video involving a box cutter where something almost went wrong. I, I, I see a pattern here. Probably not the best of things to be promoting, I guess, or something. Anyway, um, it says technically do not cut, but I'm guessing it's just the box and not around the edge because how else are you going to open it? Not cutting through the massive amounts of tape here. Oh, I think this needs to be flipped over. <sighs> it's just a uh, Tried to look for a metal bed frame, and this one had some decent reviews and good holding capacity, and uh, the supports looked a little better. So, I chose it. Again, surprisingly, supposed to be a twin-size bed frame. See if I can get this all in the shot. I'm actually using a uh, secondary old phone as a screen um, to hopefully get a better shot. Uh, so if you keep seeing me look down a little bit like this, hopefully it's not too obvious. And uh, that's why. Uh, I don't have a fancy setup with, you know, a screen I can look beyond in the distance to to see. Uh, maybe one day. Anyway, so get all this crap out of here. Oh. And for those that are interested, uh, uh, so far so good on the on the box springs I had put up put together recently. Um, holding up. Again, did have a bit of an issue when I went to go put it in the, the frame we had and uh, it didn't exactly want to fit. And then there was a, uh, 
I guess you'd say an adjustment, um, but got it all fixed and put back and whatnot. Like I said, had to buy a new bed frame. Just literally styrofoam in a bag. Why? Why, why not just the styrofoam? The, the wasted plastic. But then again, that's packaging. So. It's the way things go in life. But that comment really didn't make any sense now I think about it. Never mind. Tools, bolts, nuts, instructions. For the bed frame, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to probably read instructions. Be a, might be a better deal there. All right. Got most everything unboxed. Again, almost open that upside down. What the? What's a big, chunky? Uh, open up the box here. It has all the this stuff. Very uh, basic instructions. Don't really know if uh, that's going to be visible or not. Uh, at least it's better than some instructions I've seen. Step one, put it together. Uh, anyway, so we've got... All right, so I'm, I'm going to be uh, recording this, but maybe in editing if I figure out how to do the whole fast-forward bit, uh, you won't have to suffer through it all. Um, there. Yeah, one, two of those, and then C, B, L. Okay. C and B. This goes B and C. This way and this way. And L. Those are all, all there. Mm, spare parts, just what we want to. I mean, at least they give us spare parts, so that's good. Uh, shouldn't need that to get that out of there. Okay. Oop, all I need to two. Okay. Oh, wow. I think they actually have a... See if you can see that. The bolt has a bit of blue to it. I think that's some form of a Loctite or whatever. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, bolt heads go on the outside. Head goes... Uh, 
Sorry. Let me get those little tools out of there. Piece put together. One quarter of the frame, technically. Okay. So, try not to hit my aquarium because that would suck. It's one of the problems with doing this. I did put that correctly, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So there's technically half of it done. Uh, let me set this to the side, and we'll get started on the other piece. The interesting thing is going to be getting it out of my door and into the other room. But we'll cross that bridge, threshold, door, whatever, when we get there. All right, C on that side, B on this side, <laughs> D in the middle. <laughs> Sorry, I, it's my mind. I can't. I can't help it. Anyone who knows me can attest to that. The filter that goes from brain to mouth it doesn't always work. Sometimes it's hilarious, and most of the time it gets me in trouble. Oh, how the hell you speak Latin? That or Taco Bell. Either way. <laughs> it went in there like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Again. My mind, I just need to. Mm, mm -mm. La 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 la. I will say that one of the good things with these uh, pieces of furniture I've now put together, they haven't been overly complicated. And uh, I mean, I've never put together IKEA furniture, but I imagine it would be, from what I've heard anyway, that those are way much of a different situation. All right, that seemed to go a little faster after the first time. Again, uh, that shouldn't <laughs> that shouldn't be that loose. <sighs> yep, see, just needed that little bit extra. Okay, there we go. And we'll set that down. Okay. Now that the two side rails are put together, I gotta bring them both back up and bolt on the, the end pieces. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Ooh. It's down to the end down here. All right. Should have brought the instructions. Okay. Okay. So let's put this one over here for now. Right? That should be that there. Yep. How did I balance that grid? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Now, of course, the thing only shows two, and there's, seems like there's way too many. Hmm, huh. okay. There's one screw in. Let's just screw it. Right. Ah! You know, somewhat evenly. I mean, in all honesty, if it's a little wobbly, it ain't too big of a deal. Ah, oh, I wanted the sticker to be on the other side. Well, yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. All right. There's that side done. Let's uh, see if I can get the other side on. Okay, so using using my bed, even though I have the table as a platform, it's not the, it's the best. I mean, of course I knew that. <laughs> Get these all cinched down. Hopefully not by too much. There we go. That one feels good and tight. Okay. This is supposed to be a family friendly show. Channel. Whatever. But uh, my mind is what it is. Or isn't. Or something. Anyway. Okay, I need to flip this around. I need to not hit the aquarium because that would suck. Don't like that that's as loose as it is, but it looks like both sides are actually the same way, so. Hmm. Maybe once I get this one on here, it'll be a little different. Though I doubt it. Okay. The holes go there, and that goes there. Okay. And again, just more of the more of the same. <sighs> Got to get it all lined up.
Alrighty. And the last two bolts. Going over here. And again, surprisingly, this all goes together fairly easy. It's almost as if, you know, if you follow instructions and things are made somewhat like they should be, uh, things go together pretty decently. All right, so it looks like that is the basic frame put together. Obviously, I'll have to... I don't think you can see me. Hello! I uh, have to tighten down the center bolts once uh, I get it all set up. Let's go ahead and put the... Well, I have to keep the tools out. Put the little, put the little package over here. <clears throat> anyway, so now uh, it's a process of flipping this over, being extremely careful, and uh, putting the slats in. Uh, let's get it finished. Ooh. That's, uh, that's not going to do good. Ah! Thank you. That is going to catch on that, and I do not want it to catch. Okay. Go. Oh. Okay. Let's go over here and grab the center pieces. That give it the actual support. I said I'll have to tighten it all up and adjust it and whatnot. I, I don't know if you can see it very well or not here. I'm gonna hunt on yeah, over here. Uh, these have a nah, I don't know. basically an anti skid <sighs> sticker so on them, supposedly. And now that is, is to prevent the some of mattress from flying because it doesn't have. You get this. Um, so any little here real indents, quick. you can see that, uh, uh, little, any retention deals on the side. Uh, you can buy some that are like, like technically, I guess, considered aftermarket. Um, but that was the reason why the old box spring didn't fit was because the frame had the, the I, retention I elements to it. See it very well or not here. So, uh, yeah, we'll, set. we'll see how, here. Uh, we'll see how this goes. These it does have say, a, mm -hmm. Basically, an anti skid sticker, sticker. Uh, uh, and all that is is to basically the mattress from flying. These it two have, and then these um, two, any little should have indents. The anti skid, see that? Uh, oh yeah, these go in incredibly easy. All right, Hit tripping over the old bed frame as I put together the new one. All right, so other than a little bit of final tightening once I get it set down and peeling the stickers off, uh, this is this is bed frame now. What made me choose this one was, if you can see here at the end, when I put it together, I don't know if that's visible, I'll maybe do a quick little pan around. Um, it has extra support. It doesn't just have, most of these metal bed frames had just six legs. And um, this one actually has an extra support. Some of them would have, you know, a leg in each corner, a leg in the middle, some didn't even have a leg in the center here, um, but it has a nice bar across the, the end there, and it's got the uh, beefier center legs. Uh, 
I would have liked to have seen a, a bar that goes through the center and maybe even a center leg, like basically another one of these pieces put in the center. Um, I don't think that would have been much more in the way of engineering and cost, but maybe 10 more bucks, 20 more bucks. I would have paid it for having that little bit extra support in the center. Um, but metal bars are all in. It's all put together. Uh, I'll give you a quick little around it just to, just to see. And, uh, yeah, well, take the stickers off, put the box spring on it. Um, unfortunately, I won't be showing you the complete finished product. Uh, all set up and whatnot, but this is it put together. Oh, okay. See if you can see me here. All right. So I just grabbed the little tripod here and uh, I keep checking the camera to or other screen to see what it looks like. Uh, anyway. So this is the completed bed frame. These are those end pieces I was talking about. As you can see there, it goes all the way. And what I was saying was these are the little end supported pieces to where the center only has the legs like that to where the end has a support all the way across. I would much rather have seen that support another one in the middle uh but for less than 100 bucks metal bed frame if i remember correctly holds like three thousand pounds or something um but i don't know why you would need your bed frame to why do you need a twin bed frame to hold three thousand pounds I mean, I know I'm fat, but jeez. It's not like you're going to be jumping up and down on it. I mean, there may be some movement, but anyway, uh, yeah, this was a bed frame put together because of a box spring I bought that didn't fit the frame I had. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily think you would have enjoyed watching this. Uh, fiasco, but uh, thank you for watching Pi. Be smart, stay safe, have fun. Okay, bye.